Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jam and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Clearly today, Shawnee and I are playing with the brand spanking new Cosmic Brushes Undergrowth <coughs> palette. Let's just take a quick peek, make sure I didn't break anything. I didn't break anything. Okay, well, let's not drop that again. Um, <laughs> this is what the inside looks like. It's beautiful. I got this palette on Saturday and I had, I had some help with the, um, opening and all of that. And <laughs> Herbie wanted to immediately come in and start playing makeup. So I was telling her that I needed to take pictures so I could post them on Instagram and, you know, do swatches of the palette before I played with it. So she got my phone and turned the camera on and I'll insert the little bits here that she got. What a cutie patootie. She is so smart and so clever and it did hurt my heart a little bit to tell her we still had to wait because Nani had to do some stuff, but man, she's cute. Anyway, <laughs> when she wasn't here, I did go through and get some pictures and some video clips of the palette and swatches. So I'll insert that here and you can have a little look up close at what... Uh, <laughs> I got. It's not as good or as cute as Herpes version, but, uh, you know, try to be helpful as much as I can. <laughs> anyway, Shawnee and I have been collabing when the new Cosmic Brushes palettes are launched. Usually we get Jessa involved, so we have like a dark, medium, light, but I don't think Jessa picked this one up. She's been very, very busy with her super successful like makeup artistry stuff. Holy moly. Uh, I'll link her Instagram and her YouTube below in case you haven't taken a look, but you totally should. So uh, it's just Shani and I for this one. And um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I want to put them all on my face, but I'm gonna have to figure out something. I've been sitting here looking at the palette and just <sighs> suffering from choice paralysis. So I think all I can do is just pick one and start putting it on my eyes. So that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully you're into all of this. I'll of course link Shawnee's channel below as well, uh, though I suspect you're already subscribed and a huge fan. So, okay, stop yammering and just get into it. When I first opened this palette, the shade that jumped out at me immediately was the shade Clay. It's a orangey brown clay shade. So I'm just, I'm gonna start with that one through my crease area and just see where we go. Because I don't know, I figure it's calling to me for a reason. Maybe I just run with it metaphorically and see what happens because this is just it's a beautiful eyeshadow and I think if you if you didn't know what colors to put together in this palette or you know whatever I do think you could work in groups of four pretty much across most of the palette, certainly the four corners for sure. They just make cute little quads if you are into quads. I'm not, I like more options, but I mean, that's just stunning. And it blended beautifully, holy moly. Let me get the other eye on. Right now I'm just gonna work on getting these to look 
similar. <laughs> oh gosh. I know most people have very different eye shapes, you know, from each other. So I don't think that, you know, this is an odd thing for anyone. And it happens to me almost every time I do my makeup. That one eye looks different and, dare I say, better than the other eye. And then I end up working it out, I think, eventually. But it starts out looking a bit wonky. I still don't know what to do. So I'm just going to use clay all through my crease. I'm fairly confident that I can layer over. I don't remember there ever being a problem layering darker shades over lighter ones from Cosmic Brushes. So I think I'm going to be okay. Let's go in with Sludge. It looks like it's slightly darker and I'm using that on a used but cleaned off Refer 26. That's definitely darker. Okay. I mean, it looked slightly darker in pan, but that doesn't always translate on the eyes. This definitely is. So yay for that. Just slowly building it up and blending it. I'm going to go back over that with the original brush and the clay shade. I didn't add anything to it. Just going to blend along the edge and see where we end up. <laughs> Since we're here, I'm going to go into Roots, which is a definitely cooler tone, darker shade. Uh, but is it? No, it's just a bit cooler. It's not darker at all. Okay. So I think I'm going to clean off the first brush, the 13. And go, go into clay again, and I'm going to adjust the shape and get this blended because I really think that we are, I mean, so close to done. I just want to get this blended out a little bit more. The only lighter shades in the palette are on the green side of things and I don't want to do a lighter green with this clay shade. God, that's, I can't get over how pretty that is. Why is that striking me as so pretty right now? Okay, same brush. I'm going to go into sludge now. What's up? <laughs> what you doing? Sit. What are you doing? Filming. Are you actively filming? Yes. Why? Because I had a joke for you, but it's not YouTube okay. Okay, well, I'll, I'll cut out the joke part. You are a wackadamia nut, babe. Who are you hanging out with today? Matt. Hey, Matt. <laughs> hey. Okay, so that's where the eyes are. And apparently I should have picked different shades. So he's already picked out my colors for the next look. <laughs> where was he 10 minutes ago, right? Okay. I think now I go in with undergrowth. 
and just start applying it and see where I end up because I just don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> Ooh, that's so pretty. Oh. This is just on my dry cinch E01. Raise your hand if you saw that one coming. <laughs> I wet the brush. That is beautiful. Okay. <sighs> Get serious. I don't think I'm gonna take it quite in all the way. Just like most of the way because I think I want to put Firefly on the very inside, inner corner area. Back in for some more and some more water. Why does my brush feel dry? I just squirted the heck out of it. I want to try my refer 21 on my pretty darn wet refer 21 going back into undergrowth yep that's what i was thinking it would do It was perfectly lovely, not wet, but when you wet it, it just looks, I don't know. I always think glassy, like it has that like smooth, shiny finish. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I feel like it does. Okay. Um, now for the inner. I'm going to go into Fireflies on my little Refer 02 Mini and it's dry. Just see. And that has, it. that takes on, looking down at it in the pan, I see green. But in the mirror, on my lid, it looks orangey gold, which is super duper cool. Mm, that's so fun. Okay, now do I bring undergrowth all the way out? Or do I use smudge and clay? Or do I go in with a darker shade? Okay, I'm just going to make the executive decision to go in with smudge out here. We'll start there and see what happens if I need to darken it or even bring the undergrowth shade out farther. Okay, I actually like that, but I do think um, undergrowth has to come out a bit farther. So what I'm gonna do is go back in with the singe brush. That's not the right one. Right into the wrong shade. Oh, goodness gracious. With the singe brush back into undergrowth, I'm not going to wet it this time. I'm just going to boop it on kind of messily and then I'll go back over with smudge. Sludge. Am I saying smudge? I hope not. I'm just going to feather that through this area a little bit. 
yeah, I think that's cool. And then back in with a bit of sludge just to make sure it's, you know, blended and not too weird looking. <sighs> that's really pretty. And that's the thing about shimmery eyeshadows. Yes, multi-chromes are beautiful. Looking at that one, Fireflies, it looks great in the pan. It looks goldy, yellowy orange on my lid. And if I took it across my whole lid, it would probably change colors. But you can do that with just shimmery eyeshadow too. You don't have to have multi-chromes. So, um, thank you for attending my TED talk. <laughs> Sometimes you just need a good shimmer. All right, let me go finish up the other eye, whack on my face real quick, and I'll come back and show you the finished look. All right, I'm back and the look is done. Let me scoot you in for an up close reconnoida at the eyes. Oh, hold on, let me tuck my hairs that way. Hopefully you can see if the eyeshadows are shifty. Um, I love this look. I love that clay shade. Oh my gosh, it's just so rich and yummy and I really like it. I don't know why, like, I think I probably could have very happily just thrown that one shade on my eyes with some mascara and called it good, which is so not like me. I like, I like the fuss when I'm putting on the makeups, so I don't know. So far, I'm very, very excited. I am going to film Dallas's eye look. I'm not sure when or how, but I'm definitely going to do it because he's got pretty good ideas and he's yet to be wrong about eyeshadow combinations. So I'm going to do it. Anyway, I cannot wait to see what Shawnee does. She probably has done like swatches and told you all of the things. Shawnee's very, very, very smart and gives you lots and lots and lots of information. Whereas I'm like, let's play makeups. <laughs> Thank goodness you have options on the YouTubes because boy, howdy. Anyway, I am so excited to go see Shawnee's video and see the look that she creates and to find out if these shades work on someone with darker skin. I don't think I've seen anyone review it, though admittedly I'm not watching a boatload of YouTube. I have been spending a lot of time doing videos and trying to be better. So I don't know. If you have seen reviews by people with darker skin tones, let me know because I'll totally go take a reconnoida. Also worth noting, Copy Kitty videos are coming in one week. We are going to start doing Copy Kitty videos again starting a week from today. Me and Shawnee are back at it again. And of course, anyone else who wants to join us. Um, you don't need an engraved invitation. If you um, do videos and you want to do Copy Kitty videos, just tag Shawnee and I so we can come and see what you're doing. I was thinking, I have, a, I have several looks that I've been wanting to do that have been sent to me or that I found all on my very own. But I was also thinking, what if I tried to do some eye looks based on some of the outfits in the Dolly Parton book? Can you see it? No, it's behind me on my drawers behind me. Uh, my sister got me her book for Christmas last year. So I thought that might be fun, just like taking her outfits and doing eye looks with it. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I was also thinking, there's a lot of thinking happening here. It's very, very dangerous. The, yeah, the hamster's about to keel over. But I was thinking maybe I could do some like Halloween makeups. I don't typically, and it wouldn't be anything scary. We're talking like cutesy stuff, but I don't know. Is that something you'd want to see? It would literally just be playing for the sake of playing and probably not like teaching anything because I don't know anything. Let me know, please, what you think. 
I don't usually have the good ideas. Usually those are given to me by somebody else. So don't be afraid to tell me I've lost the plot. It's totally okay. But hopefully you like this and you're going to go watch Chinese video or I think from Chinese video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Be good and remember to be kind to you. Bye.